Hi, it's the Ira Prairie Girl. It is the first weekend in April 2020, and I am hiking the Green Belt along the Cedar River between Mitchell and Osage. I'm in Mitchell County, which is in the north part of Iowa. And I'm going to take a hike up here on the High Ridge Trail, and I'm looking for springtime woodland ephemerals. So the term ephemeral means to last a very short time. So we're looking for woodland flowers that bloom before the leaves come out. If you can tell, you look up there, you can see that the leaves and the trees haven't even started to bloom yet. And if you look down into the leaf litter on the woods floor, you can see that it's full of sunshine. So these springtime flowers take advantage. Um, they bloom before the leaves come out. They take advantage of the sunshine while they still have it. And then by the time the leaves um, come out, they're done blooming and uh, there's no more, there, there's, the forest floor is now shaded. So we're going to hike up here and hope that we find some apatica, which is one of the first uh, springtime flowers to bloom in the woods. So stay with me as we hike up the High Ridge Trail. We're back down here on the forest floor. I can't wait for those prairie flowers to bloom and that are six feet tall and I don't have to get on the ground again. So here we are. I am amazed at the amount of hepatica that we found up here on the high um, ridge trail. But it's one of those flowers, if you don't know to look for it, you're going to walk right past it. It's a very dainty flower that's just shooting up amongst the leaf litter. Um, at one point I was walking and there was one tiny flower just popping up right between some dead leaves. And if you weren't looking, you would have missed it. So you can see that each flower comes up on its own stalk. Uh, it has a very hairy stalk and there's one flower per stalk. And uh, depending on the cluster, you might have just one or two flowers or you could have 20 flowers all together here. And so you have a very dainty little flower, the petals. Well, actually, they're sepals, they're not petals, but there's between uh, 5 to 12 what looks like petals, and they can be between the colors of white, pink, to lavender, to blue. And then they have a multiple um, arrangement of stamens, white stamens in the middle, um, and then a green center. Um, the leaves, I don't have a leaf right here, but I've taken several pictures of some leaves that I'll show you. Um, the leaves are lobe-like. Um, they keep their leaves all year round. There goes my puppy. Um, the leaves that are from last year are a dark purple uh, to a brown color. And then the new leaves which come out after the flower blooms are a light green and those are also hairy. Okay, I'm going to get up off the floor, uh, the floor here and we'll go look at some other flowers and I'll give you a little bit more history about the hepatica. So hepatica references the liver. Other names for the hepatica plant are liver leaf and liverwort. Uh, so there was this 16th century physician who came up with the term uh, doctrine of signatures. And that is the belief that God stamped every plant with a medicinal purpose. And whatever that plant looked like, um, that was the body part that it was supposed to be used to treat. And so if we look at the hepatica leaf, it is a three-lobed leaf, and it turns darker brown um, or purple as it ages, and so it looks like a liver. And so hepatica was often used to treat the liver. Um, over the years, though, they found out that it really didn't help the liver. A couple other things that it was used for that was still associated with the liver was it was used to treat freckles, and it was used to make someone brave. Um, freckles be, uh, go back to the term liver spots or old age spots and so if you drank uh, tea from hepatica it would take care of your freckles or your liver spots. And then also um, coward. You've heard the term that a person is um, lily livered meaning that they're uh, afraid of something or they're not very brave and so again if you used hepatica it would treat your um, weak liver which made you a coward and you would become more brave. All right, well, I'm glad that we found the hepatica so early in the spring. Um, it usually blooms between March and June. You still have a lot of time to get out and find hepatica. Um, 
many of the plants here are just starting to come up. I'll probably use some pictures from last year that uh, show hepatica more uh, fuller in bloom. Um, you don't have much else to do in 2020, so it's a great time to get out in the woods and look for these woodland uh, wildflowers. So please stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share it as much as you want. And I do hope that you get out um, and have a chance to see the wonderful. This is the Iowa Prairie Girl. Thanks for watching. Everybody makes it to the end of my videos but one fun fact that I forgot to share the hepatica stem is so here we go the hepatica stem is slender and when the flower blooms it droops and it drops the seed and then the ants carry that seed away to disperse the seed fun fact on the hepatica thanks for staying thanks for watching till the end say goodbye for